Hi guys, Black Hawk here. Today I'm going to talk about Vega 64. In one of my previous videos I tried to optimize Vega 64 for mining Ethereum and I was able to get 52 mega hash stable but power consumption was a bit high. It was above 200 watts. So I showed that Vega 64 is still a decent GPU for mining going into 2021 in today's video I want to try to flash um, BIOS flash Vega 64 into Vega 56 to see if we can keep the hash rate and reduce power consumption. Before we begin let's uh, make one thing clear. Um, the power consumption you see right here in the top right corner uh, it shows 35 at the moment but this is already with GPU in the system without the, G the GPU in the system and screen recording it was 25 watts this is important uh, so we can see what is the GPU only power consumption ok let's start with the BIOS flashing I already downloaded um, Vega 56 BIOS you need to download the same model as your Vega mine is Sapphire reference model you download BIOS at Tech Power Up. I will uh, put a link in the description. By the way, I will put all the links in the in the description. So uh, usually, I would like to boot Windows into safe mode to flash Vega, but for the sake of this video, because I can't screen record in uh, safe mode, I will just do it in normal mode. You need to download this AMD VB flash program, and then you go into command cmd run it with, as administrator you need to um, run as administrator also this insta tool 64 i already did it so i'm not going to do it again and then you need to uh, put your bios into the same folder with your amd vb flash program and one more thing you need to save stock bios to save stock BIOS you need this GPU Z program, you open, you open it. This is just for um, security, if anything goes wrong with BIOS flashing you can flash it back to, to stock. Once you open GPU Z you, you select your card RX Vega and you just press this sign save BIOS, save to file you name it whatever you want and you save it. I already did so I'm not doing it again. OK, close, and then now flashing. Um, you need to open CMD in administrator. You need to navigate to the folder where you have AMD VB flash. And then you type AMD VB flash space dash I. This will show you all the GPUs in the system. And then you type AMD VB flash dash P. Zero. zero is the adapter number, you can hit, see it here, of uh, the GPU you want to flash and then the, the new BIOS you want to flash to your card. Oh, sorry. There needs to be space, this and dot .rom. Don't forget about this dot .rom. And press enter. So this will flash your um, uh, BIOS to the GPU. You can see that uh, new BIOS it has lower voltage and then you just need to restart system to complete vBIOS. So I'm going to restart and see you in a sec. Okay, we are back in Windows. Let's check device manager. You might notice that in your device manager um, it will name your GPU like video controller VGA compatible. So this looks kind of strange but the device is working properly. I think um, if you reinstall graphic drivers this, this will be solved but I can confirm that even though this is strange it's working normal. Next thing you we want to do is to apply power play tables. I already downloaded them. Um, these power play tables will, um, will further reduce power consumption by another 10 watts. I can confirm that. So to apply those power play tables you need to open um, overdriven as administrator and you need to select your GPU you press here with right click PP, PP table editor and here you see number this number 0009 yours might, might be different you remember this 
and then you open this with right click and edit you put in here the number so mine was 9 yours might be different save it and double click it will ask you are you sure you want to continue yes okay and then uh, you need to restart computer so I'll be back in a sec so guys we are back in Windows to confirm that power play tables were applied you need to go into overdriven and you can see that um, clocks are lower at stock and voltages are all the same voltages here are all the same so this means that power play tables were applied now before mining you need to go um, and apply uh, memory timings I already have them in this file okay so those are applied and then we uh, need to apply um, overclocks um, I'm using P1 state because these, these give me appropriate uh, soft clock on memory I can go to 120 at 820 apply and then we can start minor okay so um, I'm in the process of uh, flashing six Vegas the whole rig and this is my second Vega so I already know what I'm doing and basically I already know what clocks are okay and which clocks are not okay so uh, these uh, overclocks I think I'm going to use for 24 7 because they give a good hash rate low power consumption and they are stable so I'm happy with those as you can see now we are already mining at um, 195 watts which is 170 for GPU only let's see what hash rates we can get so if we look at power consumption we can already see that this is um, a lot lower consumption than with Vega 64 okay this is great we are getting 53.5 mega hash at 170 watts per GPU this is crazy this is a huge improvement let's uh, try to push our Vega um, more I think this can work but every GPU is different so let's hope for this one this can work so th this improvement th this is uh, 40 watts less than Vega 64 and we are getting more mega hash so this is really good I think um, everyone should um, flash Vega 64 to Vega 56 um, if they have Samsung memory I have Samsung with Hynox I'm not uh, so sure but I think it is also great so let's see what mega hash we can get with um, these higher clocks um, you can also see that the consumption is uh, higher okay we are getting 55.99 so 56 mega hash and it is mining okay so no no um, problems with GPU let's try to push it a little bit more with first GPU I was not able to go that high but let's see if this second GPU is is maybe better you know silicon lottery every GPU is different guys I need to remind you that um, do this um, testing at your own risk um, my overclocks might not work for you um, so um, keep testing and um, I'm not responsible for any damage you might do to your GPU okay we can see that this crashed the GPU so it's not able to go 185 let me close the programs and then I will give you some final thoughts okay so I have here a comparison between uh, what I was able to achieve on Vega 64 and also what I was able to achieve on Vega 64 flash to 56 so if you look at Team Red Miner we have here Vega 64 I was able to get in a normal mode 52.6 at 206 watts of power consumption while on um, Vega 56 in normal mode I was able to get 53 at power consumption of 170 watts so we can see that 
in normal mode, which is my stable overclocks, uh, which is my 24-7 overclocks, I was able to get one mega hash more at um, 36 watts of power consumption less. So this is really, really good, guys, and I suggest you to try um, BIOS Flash but uh, again do it at your own risk I'm not responsible for whatever damage you might do to your GPUs be careful guys and I wish you happy mining see you in my next video cheers